Item number SCP-213 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-213 is contained in a high-security humanoid containment cell within Site-77. The chamber is to be surrounded by a 10-meter-wide zone filled with gaseous materials corrosive to human skin. SCP-213 should be informed as to the nature of its containment to prevent manifestation of its effect which would result in additional containment breaches. A staffing of two guards armed with high-pressure hoses, oleoresin capsicum, and polymer web grenades should be stationed outside the containment unit at all times. SCP-213 is an adolescent human male, 1.5 meters tall, weighing 95 kilograms. SCP-213 is able to forcibly sever the bonds between atoms in any solid or semi-solid matter with physical contact. An intense flash of light is produced when doing so. SCP-213 can use any part of its body to manifest its effect, and has used it to disintegrate projectiles as they impact its body. Manifestation of this effect has been proven to be extremely painful, with extended use causing enough pain to render SCP-213 unconscious. SCP-213 was recovered from Palo Alto, California, when reports of a teenage boy being arrested for homicide after vaporizing his girlfriend during coitus reached agents embedded in the local police department. Further investigation revealed SCP-213's anomalous properties. However, during initial containment, SCP-213 vaporized the agents attempting to apprehend it. During the ensuing firefight with MTF, SCP-213 was able to disable two agents before being contained. SCP-213's containment procedures were finalized on 19 and classified as Euclid. Addendum 213-07 SCP-213 has made its seventh escape attempt. After asking for another interview with Dr. SCP-213 waited for security personnel to allow her to enter the containment chamber. As the majority of the containment procedures were disengaged, SCP-213 was able to apply its effects to the remaining security measures and breach containment. SCP-213 killed Dr. as well as two agents during the initial stage of its breach. SCP-213 had only seen a small portion of the facility and was easily apprehended after it encountered heavy resistance from security. Breaking through its cell weakened it enough to prevent further damage to other containment units. SCP-213 was apprehended in the site break room, attempting to break through the floor. However, extensive use of its effect left it unable to do so. Addendum 213-08 SCP-213 unintentionally breached containment on 2000 and Due to the nature of this breach, no consequence has been issued. Video feed taking at 3.15 am from SCP-213 cell show its bed and a section of the floor being affected, which caused SCP-213 to fall into a basement level. Researchers note, from study of this video, it is clear that SCP-213's control of the effect is not as perfect as it previously believed, and it has become more cooperative with us in trying to establish a method to control and utilize it. Vague conjecture on the part of the review staff as to possibilities of what would occur should the effect trigger accidentally, including SCP-213 self-vaporizing, are noted as being particularly useful in this regard. Addendum 213-09 07 During a routine physical examination of SCP-213, lesions were discovered on its back, appearing as smooth nodules. Presently, there are four nodules placed at intervals on the subject's back in a perfect square. Distance between all four points is exactly 15 cm. Medical personnel have been assigned to SCP-213's containment in order to observe and rapidly respond to changes in its condition. Follow-up examinations have been scheduled. 09 A follow-up examination has led to the discovery of two more nodules, located in the center of its palms. SCP-213 reports mild irritation, but no pain or discomfort. They resist pressure applied with blunt or sharp instruments. During an attempt to excise a sample using a scalpel, the scalpel failed to cut and vaporize after a few seconds of applied pressure. SCP-213 denies responsibility for this occurrence. SCP-213 has become notably more apathetic, and has expressed feelings of extreme pain from its back and stomach. 14. SCP-213 was moved to intensive care after being observed having a seizure in its containment cell. 
Examination of SCP-213 shows an additional ten nodules have appeared on its back. A perfect distance of 5 cm separates each one. SCP-213 continues to report no pain from the lesions. SCP-213 has been assigned additional medical observers, who will remain outside its containment with the standard guard staff for the next week. 23. All nodules in SCP-213 have disappeared, and been replaced with thin incisions slightly less than 1 mm in width. During inspection of these new changes, the medical examiner witnessed the incision on SCP-213's left palm open and an eye was observed watching her. SCP-213 has been placed in the medical wing indefinitely, pending further changes to the subject's condition. Addendum 213-10 The source of SCP-213's effect appears to be a parasitic infestation of unknown origin inhabiting its body. This life form has not attempted to communicate, but does observe any persons in SCP-213's presence through the lesions present on SCP-213's body. SCP-213 has exhibited panic over this development and requested several times the entity be removed from him. Any requests of this nature from SCP-213 are to be denied, pending further research. Researchers note. The organism inhabiting SCP-213 fails to show up in any medical scan we have at our disposal. The new hypothesis is that this effect actually serves to provide sustenance and self-defense, with repeated tests to determine the nature of the anomaly has led to increased growth. SCP-213 has been placed in a chemically induced coma until further research can be conducted regarding the nature of this parasite. Containment procedures slated for major revision.